Let's bring in Court Klopfing in the Storm Tracker Center with a look ahead at your Tuesday. And hopefully we'll see some, some clear skies because it's been hard to make plans. Very, very unsettled weather the last few days. You know, Kelly, I'm going to tell you this right now because you said make plans. So if you're trying to make those plans to get outside for that fresh air, I would say today is looking like the best day to do so as we head through the rest of this week because temperatures are on the rise and it's going to be a substantial climb in our high temperatures through Friday. And by Friday, you may want to make those plans to either stay indoors, find some shade or find somewhere to take a dip as the temperatures are going to be downright toasty across our region. Now a one hour time lapse look at the sky over the Northern Sierra and Southern Cascades. You can really see last and peak there from the Tuscan Butte camera getting brighter early on today. Not many clouds lingering overhead after a very active night last night. Temperatures right now in the 60s in the valley, 50s to low 60s in the foothills, and we're in the 50s for most of our mountain zones just after 5.30 a.m. Winds are out of the east up to around 7 miles an hour right now. We're going to have south winds developing again today. They're not going to be all that strong. It's certainly nothing to write home about. And then as we head through Wednesday, that's when we see a shift to north winds across our region as high pressure builds inland. This will help to dry us out quite a bit, and it leaves us without that cooling influence in the delta breeze that we're going to be seeing with the south winds today. Heading into Thursday, winds are fairly breezy out of the north in the morning, especially along I-5 gusts around 30 miles an hour. Thursday afternoon, they're not quite as strong, but they're still out of the north. So again, it's going to be a dry end to your work week as high pressure takes hold. Satellite and radar, your hyperlocal look showing you over the last couple of hours. We've seen skies clearing out across our region. Very active conditions last night left from the low pressure off to our east, driving that moisture from north to south across our region. Now for today, that's having less influence as high pressure builds in, but we still have that threat of thunderstorm activity across the Sierra. Elsewhere, we'll see more sunshine and warmer temperatures. So that threat of thunderstorms is lingering, but it's mostly limited to the northern Sierra today. Does not look as likely tomorrow. Getting a check with your hyperlocal futurecast, sunshine in the valley at 8 a.m. Not much cloud cover over our higher elevations. By noon, it's still sunny in the valley. Start to see some scattered shower activity popping up in the Sierra. Could see a little thunderstorm activity in the Sierra later on this afternoon into the evening. And then we'll have a chance for some scattered sprinkles across portions of the valley this evening, but it's really not enough to even keep the umbrella handy. You might just get a little bit wet off out there this evening. Heading into Wednesday morning, we are still tracking those clouds heading through. Uh, Wednesday afternoon, I should say, and they're going to be fairly thin, so not blocking out much sun. Dry late this week with temperatures on the rise as high pressure builds in, but we'll still see some clouds brushing across. Some clouds overhead Saturday, a few more on Sunday, but showers not likely for Father's Day weekend, so good news there. And as you get a look at what we're seeing for rain projections from this system that's left off to our east, looks like maybe two tenths of an inch in mineral, and that's about the highest total we're going to be seeing for today. Temperatures ending up in the 80s for the northern mountains, 70s to low 80s in the Sierra and Southern Cascade. This is where we have the best chance for thunderstorms lingering today. Foothill areas mostly sunny with highs in the 70s for the valley. It's temperatures in the lower 90s for the northern end of the valley, mid to upper 80s in the mid valley this afternoon. So we are hovering around or slightly below average for this time of year for most of our region, save for Redding. 91 is the Average high temperature for today in Reading. It looks like we might get just a touch above that this afternoon. Temperatures in the upper 80s to low 90s for today. Low to mid 90s tomorrow. Up into the upper 90s to low triple digits by Friday across the valley. So again, Kelly, those temperatures are downright toasty through the end of this week. We'll end up with a little dip into the low to mid 90s Saturday. Mid 80s for Father's Day Sunday and partly cloudy. And temperatures continuing to cool back into the lower 80s as we start off next week.